Today we finally put all the code we've been looking at for the last couple of weeks into practice and take a look at Link. Today's example will be relatively brief, but once you understand the underlying parts, which we've covered already, there really isn't much to actually using Link. And we're going to start out in C Sharp, and you'll see that I've already created a, a small little class called Sample Item that has two properties, first name and last name. If you're not familiar with this property syntax, maybe you need to go back and take a look at one of the other videos. Up here, what we've done is we've created a sample list using my sample item down here. And I've just added one item to it just to make the code happy. And then down here, let's actually start this all over again because this is where we actually use link. I'm going to declare a variable. And now we're going to actually uh, get some data out using link. Now, to use link, you have to start with the from keyword. This is a little bit backwards from actual uh, SQL, but what this allows the Visual Studio Engine to do is give us IntelliSense because it'll know right away what kind of data we're working with. So we're going to go in here and say from sample, we're creating, actually creating a new variable here, sample, in sample list. I don't know why it's not from sample list, but this is the way you write the code. From sample in sample list. Now we put in our where clause. Where? And we're going to say something like uh, sample first name equals Dave. Select sample. And that's your basic link expression here. Now, you might be wondering, how did they make this work? Well, here's what they did. We're going to go up here and take a look at the IntelliSense for sample list. And you'll see that we have a whole bunch of extension methods here. I remember extension methods from uh, last week. We have a where extension method, a union extension method, See, all the methods that we're going to need to actually do link are actually extension methods hanging off of this I list. You've got sum, you've got skip while, order by descending. Um, so everything that you're going to actually do in link is getting interpreted to code that's executing these extension methods. Now to actually do this in VB, uh, dim x equals uh, from sample in my sample list where sample first name equals Dave select sample. It's exactly the same as in C Sharp. Uh, the syntax here, uh, you're not going to have to learn something different moving between the two languages. You want to subscribe to the blog because uh, in the next couple of days I'm going to be actually posting some stuff uh, about uh, architecture considerations with Link. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm really nervous about people doing that uh, are inappropriate uses of link, uh, particularly with regards to databases. So we're going to take a look at that on the blog. Uh, probably do those as straight posts because it won't be a whole lot of uh, actual coding. It'll be a lot of uh, you know theory stuff and, and things like that that uh, is actually better left to uh, text on a blog than a video presentation.